Hello everyone and welcome, finally, yay, to my review on this new palette from Urban Decay. This is the Born to Run eyeshadow palette. Kind of as the name implies, it is supposed to be like a, a travel friendly palette and that's why all of the images on the palette are travel related, yeah? It's a nice sturdy acrylic packaging, it's got a really nice magnetic closure, it's got a huge mirror in here, and it's got a beautiful array of colors, you guys. Now just to get it out of the way, little disclaimer, yes, Urban Decay did send this to me in hopes of a review, but A, I'm not obligated to review it, and B, I am certainly not obligated to give a positive review. They knew before putting me on their PR list that I only give 100% honest reviews, so you guys have nothing to worry about there. And you guys, I love this palette. It's wonderful. It's got a couple drawbacks to it, but overall, I think with what Urban Decay was going for in making this a travel-friendly palette, knocked it out of the park. They did so, so well. I mean, first off, this is cheaper than their normal naked palettes. This is only $49, and you get 21 shades in here. We go each shadow being 0 0.80 grams, so that works out to an average of $2.92 per gram in this palette, which is, like I said, cheaper than a naked palette from them. Here you can also see, just for comparison, you know, a standard naked palette. It looks like they are the same length, but the Born to run is a bit wider. And like I said, what Urban Decay was going for was making this, you know, a travel-friendly palette. No matter where you are traveling to or what your travel plans are, it's got the huge mirror so that you can use this, and it's a great mirror. It does exactly what it should. And then the colors in here are supposed to be able to take you day, night, artsy-fartsy, professional, whatever you're feeling. Now they are more geared on the warm side, so if you're not into warms, you're gonna have trouble with this palette. There are a few not warm shades in here, especially like with all the mattes. All the mattes, I think, except for Good As Gone, are heavily warm. So you're gonna have troubles making looks that are not warm if you're using exclusively this palette. But they give you loads of neutrals, they give you loads of mattes in here so you can definitely play and like I said make a more like professional, like if, you're, if you've got like a work trip or something that you're bringing this on. But then also if you want to pop some fun color, whether you want it to be purples, greens, blues, teals, whatever, you've got options in here. So, like I said, I just feel like Urban Decay really hit it out of the park with the concept of this palette. And then looking closer up at all of these shadows, the different types of shadows in here, there are three shimmer shades, three micro shimmer shades, three micro sparkle shades, two shifty shades, three metallic shades, one satin shade, and then six matte shades. So like I said, I feel like it's a good roundup of different types of shadows, different colors. Just overall, these all play together so nicely and true to Urban Decay form. They are super blendable. They are nice and pigmented. They all blend and look gorgeous together. And you can get so, 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 so many looks out of this palette. I do wish, like if I could make any change to it, I really, really wish that there was some kind of transition color tonally in between Weekender and Riff. I feel like that's really missing from this palette. And then also a deeper, like more along the lines of a black or a dark gray charcoal-y type color in the matte shades, just to go with these shades here in the bottom. That is me being nitpicky, but I, I wish those were a part of this palette. And another thing that I did want to mention, the reason why I grabbed the Naked Heat palette, is that I did notice there were quite a few similarities in here. So I will have it up on the screen so you can see there are quite a few dupe shades from the Naked Heat and then the Born to Run palette. Shades like Ounce, Chaser, Low Blow, Dirty Talk, Ember, I mean the list goes on. And then also if you've got the Naked Petite Heat from Urban Decay, this one also is full of dupes in this palette. I mean really basically all of them. 
<laughs> so if you already have the Naked Heat and then the Petite Heat palettes, you might not feel a need for this Born to Run palette, and I wouldn't blame you because, like I said, a lot of these shades, like especially the matte shades and the more oranges and orangey browns and coppers and that sort of a thing, I mean really the only thing unique to this palette, if you already have those two palettes, would be like the greens and the purples and the blues that are in here. So that is something I figured I should note for you all. Also, I did kind of switch it up this time with this review, and I made this video and then my tutorials separate, since a lot of people a, don't like tutorials for me, which is totally fine. Like, I'm not a makeup artist. I understand if you don't want to follow along how I do different looks. And then also, B, it just will make this video shorter. So I know a lot more people will be more interested in it, not seeing it be like 30 minutes long. So the videos will be posted at the same time. I'll throw a card here up in the corner so that if you want to go and watch that right now, I mean, why do that? watch to the end of this. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I will have that video linked down below so you can watch it at your leisure if you want to watch it. Otherwise, we will hop into swatches here. You can see all of the shades, how they're looking and everything, and then I will be back for a final little roundup at the very end of the video. I mean, if you don't want to see swatches. Goodbye! I hope you enjoyed, but if you want to see swatches, brew, here we go!
go, you guys. There is my full review and swatches of this Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I really do think that this is a wonderful, wonderful palette. If you are an Urban Decay collector or maybe if you passed on the Naked Heat palette, because I know for me personally this wasn't my favorite palette, I would say if you didn't get that one, this would be a good staple to add to your eyeshadow palette collection and especially if you travel a lot. Like I said, it completely makes sense, the whole concept of this palette. The price point is great for this. The quality of the shadows is wonderful. Like I said, they blend beautifully. They all go together beautifully. You can create tons of different looks with this and then also they last all day. Granted, I do have to use an eyeshadow primer. But I have to use an eyeshadow primer with everything. There's also really hardly any problem with fallout so long as you tap off your brush. I would say the only ones that do have some problem with fallout are the deeper shades in the bottom here. So maybe if you're doing a look with these shades I would suggest doing eyeshadow before you put on your foundation and concealer. But otherwise, beautiful palette. I really love this and I highly recommend it to anyone, especially if you have been humming and hawing over whether or not you should get this. So there you go, you guys. Like I said, if you want to see all of my tutorials and everything, definitely go ahead and watch that video. It'll be linked down below. And if not, I just hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did enjoy it, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!